Hello YouTubers, welcome back to GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair here. Uh, today, working on a 2012 Nissan Sentra 4-cylinder automatic. And before I continue, if you are already a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for checking out this new video. Hope it help you a lot and help you to save some money along the way. And if you are not yet, yet a subscriber and you're checking our videos and our channel, Hey, I want to welcome you. Please take the time in a minute, a second actually, to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, comment, like, and share the video if you find any value so you can help us out to stay motivated to create more content. Okay, let's get to the video then. So here, the customer stated they needed to go through a mission, but the check engine light its own, and obviously right there, it won't pass the mission because of that. So what we're gonna do here, I already installed the scanner to, to get an idea of what it is. And so far what I found, I have a code, a P0171. You guys can read the definition there, I think. Fuel injection, lean system, bank one. Okay, it's a four cylinder, so it's only bank, one bank on there. So we're not gonna get very technical on this, okay? I want to keep everything very superficial uh, again talking very general about this code but this code means that we have more air than fuel it's plain and simple that's how it works okay so what can it cause those situations the first thing is I have the customer uh, drives with a very low fuel level sometimes the pump can starve and even if the car is running is not showing demonstrating any any symptoms that can trigger that code okay so next let me set up the hood here the next thing that we need to focus on uh, can be uh, air leak on the intake side on the gasket on one of the hoses here can be cracked can be brittle and start I, Know, sucking some air so that air is no meter by is no major by the mass airflow sensor okay or the airflow meter both mean the same thing so the next thing that it can cause this it is if you have an exhaust leak if you have an exhaust leak it's gonna suck outside air and that's gonna lie to the oxygen sensor when it goes through it with all the gases coming out of the engine okay so this vehicle doesn't have any exhaust leak i don't believe it has a, a, a um, vacuum leak so i will check it anyway a little later on but one of the things that i like to do when i have this type of coat i always like to do a visual inspection why the reason why it is because sometimes me as a technician or maybe other technicians feel the same way you see a code and we go into what is the most common so a lot of time i hear other technicians oh it must be the oxygen sensor and the, the technician can create a bias okay it can create a like a oh i know what it is and focus on the wrong thing instead of just covering the basics uh so that's that is the reason why I always like to do a visual inspection really quick, make sure I can check all the basics. For instance, one of the things that I noticed right here is the air filter cover is missing the two metal tabs that it goes there. The air filter itself, it doesn't look, well, it is filled. There's a lot of dust on it. So this, even if it looks like this, I'm gonna put some air, but I'm gonna replace this filter regardless. The next thing that you have to focus on, make sure the hose here is attached correctly. And right here, if you notice, you can see some cracks on that hose. Okay, the air intake breather tube. That's pretty universal. So what are you gonna do next? This part gets brittle. It can crack already we see some some lines there and what happened for instance if the engine mounts they have a lot of play I haven't drive this car yet 
the excessive movement on the engine under acceleration that hose can come apart or move and this is gonna it's gonna uh, cause the engine to down run for correct for like seconds and it start running good again and every time on the heavy acceleration if he does the case the engine moves and it's sucking more air so it is a it's not a good balance on fuel air mixture okay so now next thing that we're gonna do here we're gonna move wait a minute there you go okay move and we already found our problem one issue right there okay so now that's the reason the visual inspection is very very important now we found an issue here we found another issue here so what we're gonna do first we gotta fix those two things first before we continue getting deep into the vehicle other way what's happening if we neglect to address those two issues what's gonna happen we are going to go around and around trying to check out the stuff that potentially can be wrong yes but that could be the whole problem triggered out of issues okay so first i'm going to attack that i'm going to replace that hose i'm going to put get those two clips i'm going to replace the air filter and i'm going to test it again if i don't give if after the test drive checking the monitors they get ready that's all what i have to do i don't have to do anything else okay so always always find the evidence fix what is broken first then test it and if you have other issues yeah fine go ahead and fix those issues okay so let me get all that stuff and i will get back to you all right youtubers i'm back so here is the parts the parts the parts the parts brand new now some of you guys this is the part number okay i got it from the nissan dealership so no big deal here is the clips this is the part number okay so that way that's it it's two of those it's the same part number that was the duct air that's actually the name how they call it and my air filter all right let's start with the first things first let's get this stuff fixed and able to pass the mission so that way the customer can drive it and we can just earn some money so again if you stay this far in the video if you'll find any value please Take the time and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. I will really appreciate it. I feel like, you know, it's, we I'm doing my best to to put as much content that I can for you guys to help you save money and fix your car yourself and fix it right because you're finding the evidence and uh, that's about it nothing better than that getting the job done getting it done right and guess what saving money at the same time new filter boom so here's the filter on the filter housing now this too let me move this so you guys can see so this, this side goes here, and it latches there. So now this is what we do. This is gonna go in, gonna place it, push it towards the back of the car, snap it in place. There you go, awesome one issue down and out of the way now let me relocate my camera so we can get you guys the better view okay so here we are going to use classical driver 
some pliers. I have a 90 degree pliers here. You don't, it doesn't have to be a 90 degree, but that's what I might have with me right now. All right, so. There's two clamps there. Now what we're gonna do here, I think you guys can see here, it is a little bit of a, this is the breeding hose for the, um, I believe this is transmission, automatic transmission. The vent, the gases can come out. It's not cooperating right now. There you go. So this is a little bit broken there, but you gotta squeeze and pull. Now we have this other end, which is this. This goes into the valve cover, I believe. So we're gonna slide this a little bit that way. So it gives us enough room to with the screwdriver. starting to to break loose so we don't have to force it and potentially break anything and find a better view here sometimes secure the camera so now I want to push here okay that's off that's off and this just come out See, that part was already broken here too. Look at that. No bueno. Okay, so now let's place this back here. The here, the throttle body seems pretty clean, so I'm not gonna bother with it. So, okay, make sure always shake it, make sure there's nothing get trapped in the hose. That way it doesn't go into your intake, mon in intake manifold and end up damaging the engine. That goes there. That slides back there. So we are going to just place it back. That is the snap. Place the hose is all the way where it needs to go. Now we are going to tie this. We don't have to worry about it later. I want to clear the code and we are going to test it. <laughs> and so far, that's it. That's it. So going to put all the stuff so that way at the end of the day of the repair I can show it to the customer they can see it so that way we can believe some you know we can build some trust and uh, that's it man that's it guys that's how we do it EQ auto diagnostics all right so again I'm gonna take the vehicle for a test drive I'm gonna film See when he passes the missions and or if he needs something else I will continue filming. Alright? So if you like the video so far, give it a thumb up guys. I'll appreciate it.